Welcome, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here with Casey, the conductor. We're here at Bowen Field, and you know what's about to go down. The Ridge Runners are playing some baseball tonight, but it's about much more than that tonight. We've got something for the kids out here, too, the little hillbilly water park. We've got bubbles in the back, as you can see behind us. We've got the splash pad, the playground, the sandbox, pools galore, water guns galore, and it's the middle of summer, so what other activities could you really want to do besides jump in the water, run around, watch some baseball? We've got food in the background, too, hot dogs, you name it. So it's going to be a really nice evening if you're heading out this way. As far as the weather goes, we've been nice today, and we should continue to stay that way into tonight. We've been quiet. Our camera right now not showing much on it. Just a few patchy clouds from time to time. And our satellite and radar today, again, has been very quiet. If we look at our temperatures, again, we've been seasonable today. A little bit warmer than yesterday, but still right around average for this time of year. Upper 70s, low 80s. That's where most of us have been this afternoon. And we should continue to stay on the seasonable side tonight, right around average as far as those low temps go. Overnight, we're going to be dipping into the 50s and 60s. Now, we will start to get pretty hot and humid as we head into midweek. Tomorrow will feel a bit different than today. There's just going to be a lot more of that mugginess. We're going to be rather sticky. So make sure you stay cool, stay hydrated. We'll really start to feel that heat and humidity tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures tomorrow, too, will be warmer. We're eventually going to end up in the 80s and 90s tomorrow, and the rest of the week will look to be on the hotter side. Temperatures will be right above average for most of the day. Most of us will be in the 80s on July 4th, 90s as well for some of those lower spots, and we stay a little hot and humid and unsettled into the following weekend. So after today, again, we start to get muggy and we start to become a little bit stormy at times. But we need the rain. Overall, we need the rain. We've been dry. So we could use any help from Mother Nature in that department uh, that we could get. Let's go ahead and look at the dew points again. You can see how that rises into midweek. It really peaks Wednesday and Thursday. So it is going to feel different. Again, no day is looking like a washout through the end of the week, including the holiday. It's more of that hit or miss type stuff. So if you've got to have that weather app, if you're grilling out, if you're setting off the fireworks, I would just kind of keep an eye on things, have a way to receive those weather alerts, check that radar on and off because it'll be very hit or miss in nature when we're talking about that rain into late week. Let's look ahead at that 10 day and we can kind of break this all down for you as far as temperatures go. Again, tomorrow, one of the hottest days and July 4th, as I mentioned, above average. And then as we head toward the weekend, we drop a little bit, but still staying kind of muggy, still stormy. At night, too, we're going to be on the warmer side. We've had some cooler nights the past couple of nights, but we're talking 60s and 70s every night from here on out. So keep that AC rolling. I'll send things back to the studio.